So I want to give you an update on the GERD board. Last Wednesday I received my first Raspberry Pi beta board and in the evening hours I've been working to connect the Raspberry Pi board and the GERD board together. Here you see the Raspberry Pi board, there's the GERD board and in between is the flat cable for the signals. Officially the Raspberry Pi board is supposed to stack on top of the GERD board but that was not possible as the first 25 boards all have a male GPO header in place and to stack the board it requires a female GPO header. It's not too bad because it also means that I can have the board next to each other which makes it much easier to debug. Behind the GERD board we have a 12 volt battery which is used to drive a 12 volt geared motor through the motor controller. The whole system is controlled by Linux software and is using GPO drivers developed by DOM. These GPO drivers are very simple. All they require is to send either a string or a character to a file. In this case I'm using C to generate those strings and send them out, but you could just as well do it in Python or even from a shell script. Here we switched the GPO on, so we sent the character 1 to the GPO file and I do that for all 12 GPOs in a row. Which gives this result here. So here we see the 12 buffers being driven from the Unix program. Each output is driven high and then there's a small delay for the next one. And then next I drive them all low again. After driving the GPOs I switch the motor on 7 seconds in one direction and after 7 seconds I switch the direction the other way. This is a very powerful motor. It is capable of lifting 60 kilograms, so that's more than enough to open or close your garage door. The next step will be that I have to bring up the pick on the GERD board and I have to make sure that the pick and the Raspberry Pi can communicate over an SPI interface. That will probably be another week before that's finished.